daughter's innocence, Julian Crane. You will pay. You will pay. Graciado. You hurt my children. You got what you deserved. How dare you barge in here like this? That's right, you little tramp. Just get out of here. Or what, you gonna throw me out? Teresa, Mia, what's going on here? Well, your daughter is loco, that's what. Oh, you said it was all me, Mama. That the reason Ethan left me was because of the secrets that I kept, the lies that I told? That's right. No, it isn't. Ethan and I never had a chance because of you two. It's absurd. It's ridiculous. I heard them celebrating, Mama. So happy that Ethan and Gwen are friends again. Hoping it won't be long until they're a couple again. And then you'll keep pushing and pushing until they're married. You're like two puppeteers pulling strings, doing whatever it takes to make what you want happen. Well, Ethan and Gwen belong together. They would be together right now if you hadn't lied your way into Ethan's life. Well, maybe I made mistakes, but so much has happened that's still unexplained. Like how your letter to Chief Bennett was emailed to the tabloid from my computer because I didn't do it. But I have some ideas who did, Rebecca. And I have my ideas about who exposed the fact that I was pregnant to the tabloid so that Ethan would be sure to discover my secret in the worst possible way. That is enough, Teresa. Now get out. That's right. I am still Mrs. Crane and I want you out of my house. Oh, don't pull rank on me, Rebecca. I am still Mrs. Crane. Ivy, Julian divorced you so he could marry me. Oh, my God. It's me. Excuse me, ladies. But I am the one and only Mrs. Crane. So shut up and listen up. Mama, would you please get Ivy and Rebecca some tissues? They're going to need them, okay? <sighs> because, mm, starting here and now, your lives will never be the same. Oh my God, Teresa's right. She's still legally Mrs. Crane. No, that can't be true. Oh, but it is. And what makes it even better is that Gwen is the one who clued me in. It just, it just hit me a minute ago. The annulment means nothing since I'm pregnant with Julian's child. What did you say? Teresa is just like that little pink bunny. She just keeps lying and lying and lying. It's the truth, Mama. I'm still pregnant. I couldn't go through with the abortion. I just couldn't. Ay, mija. Mm -hmm. Gracias a Dios. There were pictures of you at the clinic. Yes, Ivy, I went to the clinic, but I didn't have an abortion. I guess your spies weren't as thorough as you thought. I can't believe this is happening. Well, believe it, Ivy. You too, Rebecca. I'm still pregnant. Pregnant with the crane heir. You two bitches think you know how to play dirty? Well, you just watch Mama Crane. Watch me and weep. This won't be easy. But starting with Ivy, I think, is as good a place as any. How dare you threaten us? Go back to the barrio where you belong. That sounds like Ivy and Rebecca. Do not speak to my daughter that way. And Mama. Your daughter is a two-timing tramp. And you knew all along. Leave Mama alone. Your fight is with me, and I say bring it oh, on. We are going to crush oh, you yeah, like the cop daughter's What are you shouting about? Not, 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 my baby. 
baby will get everything from the cranes because it is a crane. It's Julian's baby. <gasps> Teresa, what did you just say? Luis. <sighs> Mijo, Teresa didn't have the abortion. No, I couldn't go through with it, Luis. Even though it's Julian's baby. <sighs> Says you, the father could be any man from here to Bermuda. <laughs> Oh, you're one to talk, you gold-digging witch. Oh, listen in here, you little fajita. Becca, I'm warning you. Why don't we just call Alistair? He'll take care of Teresa. Yeah, over my dead body. People, enough. Slut. Bitch. I said that's enough. Now, Luis and I are here on police business. That's right. We're investigating the murder of Julian Crane. I can tell you who did it. Ivy or Rebecca, or both. Rebecca pushed the wheelchair and Ivy pulled the trigger. If I were going to kill anyone, Teresa, it would be you for hurting Ethan. Ask them where they were last night, Chief Bennett. I bet my late husband's fortune that one of them killed Julian. Teresa, relax. We don't need a bunch of unsubstantiated accusations made in anger. We just need to know where everyone was last night. Good God, what is that smell? Oh, sorry, we were just at the cannery and... <clears throat> the cannery? What were you doing at the cannery? It's part of the investigation. Rebecca, where were you last night? Why don't you ask your sister? She was as livid with Julian as the rest of us. You even said you could kill him for what he did to you. Teresa would never kill someone. But what about you, Pilar? When you disappeared last night, your, your red-hot blood was boiling. Me? Please, I'll have you know that the staff reported that the dress you wore last night smelled strongly of fish when it was taken to the cleaners this morning. Is that true, Rebecca? <sighs> Look, the only thing that is fishy around here, Ivy, is your whereabouts last night. In fact, the maid told me that your wheelchair left a trail of fish guts in the elevator after you wheeled in there after doing God knows what. Now, ladies, this isn't getting us anywhere. I told you they did it, Chief Bennett. They killed Julian and left me a widow. His pregnant widow. <sighs> now, I have heard enough of you ladies yelling at each other. Teresa is no lady. She's a tramp. Stop insulting my sister. I said that sister. is enough. Now I'm going to talk to each one of you and find out exactly where you were last night. Why don't you ask Luis? He was furious with Julian. Why don't you ask him where he was last night? Luis is going to make a statement. And for that matter, so will Ethan. No one gets preferential treatment in this case. No one. Now as much as it pains me to say this, each one of you are going to have to answer some very serious questions.